everyone welcome to Terra Spatial. In this video tutorial we are going to see how to visualize the buildings in uh, 3D in QGIS. So let's get started. So first let us add the building data set. Layer, add layer, add vector layer, use this browse option. So I am going to choose this GML file. I will be also sharing this file in, this, in the description with the link you can download it for the education purpose and uh, learn how to view the buildings in 3D. So click open and add. So you can see the building data sets. Okay right now. Uh, let me show you from where I have downloaded the data. So I have downloaded the data from open Geo data portal. So this is the website from where, where I have downloaded the buildings with the uh, heights Now moving to this You can see that I am having uh, building layers. There are around four building layers Okay, so the important uh, step is we are having the building data and we must also have for each building we, we must have the height so it will be stored in the attribute let me open the attribute table of one of this uh, building data set and you can see this is the attribute how this is how it looks like and you can see that measured height is being given for the individual buildings this is the height of the individual buildings if you have buildings and if you don't have the height of the building you can also uh, try it approximately or you, if you have done a field survey you can uh, create a new field and add the building height and uh, you can also view the building in 3d so let me close it and we just move on to the creation of 3d building view in QGIS so select this file properties inside properties you can find 3d view now defaultly in it will be there in uh, no symbols so select single symbol and in intrusion option at the last you can find a small button like just click on over here and you can find field type integer double string so here we are going to select the field which is having the building height so after choosing it click apply and click ok the same procedure I am going to repeat it for the other layers also. Okay. So now I have done it for the rest of the two buildings. I have just uh, not shown you because it will be taking some time. That's why I have registered. So now let us go on to the 3D part. Right. Then the next thing is I am going to add a base map. So it is uh, not looking that much uh, interactive. So I'm going to add a base map using HCMGIS plugin. You can easily download and install it. I have already made a video on it. I will be also sharing that link in the description. So here I'm going to add base maps. So there is also another option for adding base map. You can see in the browser option, you can find X, Y and Z tiles. So here you can find open street map. You can just drag it and drop it. So first loading the base map is uh, important because if you are uh, opening in the 3D view after that uh, we are loading the base map it might be taking some time. So you can see here we have successfully loaded the base map. Now we are going to do the 3D part. So you can see the option new 3d map view click on it and you can see instantly the 3d map is being added so now in order to visualize the building in 3d what we need to do is you uh, we just need to hold down the shift button and in the mouse please use mouse left click you just need to hold on it and if you just bring this in the downside 
you can easily see the 3d view you can use the mouse to move left and right right okay so now you can see that there is a gap between this base map and building in order to fix that go to the option configure and uh, you can see the option terrain here we are going to select online and click apply click ok so now you can have a better view the building is sitting on the top of this base map without any issue like this you can have a 3d view use the shift button just hold on the shift button and using the mouse left click button you can move around the map up and down like this you can also use the scroll button to zoom in to any particular buildings so we can also change the view of the camera configure and here you can find camera and sky box here defaultly it will be there in perspective projection in projection type and here you can so let us change the field of view to 90 degree and let us see how it looks like you can see here this is how the 90 degree view looks like you can use your mouse left click to go you just need to drag and drag it front and back you can view of the you can see the view of the uh, buildings at a field view of 90 degrees now let me put it to 20 degrees and let us see how it looks like you can see the view Now there is also another uh, option called as orthogonal projection. So you can see this is how it is uh, look. It it will be looking in the prospective projection. Prospective projection. Now let us see how it is there in orthogonal projection. Click apply. Click OK. Now you can see the buildings will be. Uh, you can see the buildings in a very close closely packed level in this uh, type so once again I'm going to just change the projection type apply ok orthogonal apply you can see how it is the buildings will be placed together So I'm just using this option to zoom out. The buildings will be closer in this uh, view. Likewise. So let me bring it to the default. So now we can also add some effects to this uh, 3d buildings click on configure and you can see effects so you can select show shadows for the building you can see the difference if I add the shadow you can see the shadow of the building so likewise you can add shadows and then show eye dome light lighting now you'll be seeing the difference you can see the edges has been darkened you can see this view how it is like this you can create right so there are also let me show you the lighting effects 
so in lights you can see that uh, direction light is available so here you can uh, set the sun's elevation 0 to 90 degrees so if it is a 90 degree and uh, let me choose the light color color of the light so I'm going to choose orange and you can see that if I set it to 90 degrees the Sun will be at the top from ground 90 degrees it will be there and you can see the shadows you can't find the shadows that much because the Sun is in 90 degree angle the shadows won't be falling on the ground you can also change it so here instead of putting 90 degrees you can put 20 degrees for example it might be a sunrise or sunset you can see the difference how the shadow is looking so you can see this is the sun's view sun's angle and you can see the back shadow of this buildings likewise you can create the lighting effect you can also increase the height of the elevation of the sunlight now you can see how it is so like this you can create 3d building view you can also link the view from uh, 3d to 2d use this option to dock 3d map view now we just dock this in this region and in settings go to camera and you can see the option 2d map view follows 3d camera and 3d camera follows 2d view so like this you can choose accordingly click on apply ok now you can see if I move here you can see in 3d it is viewing uh, moving likewise you can uh, change it 2d map view follows 3d camera click apply and you can see here if I zoom into a particular location in the 3d or navigate you can see in 2d also it is moving like this also you can set set up there is another option uh, where you can see the visible camera area in 2d map click on apply and click ok now you can see there visible visibility from 3d view if I zoom in so like this you can have a look at it now let us undock it and we just move back to the 3d And add some effects to it so if you want to export this image let me show how to do it so let us first minimize so in order to export it as an image you can see the option new print layout click on it let us assign a title click on ok now we are going to add the 3d by using this add 3d map so the scene has not set let us move back to the 3d part we just need to fix the correct position for example this is the position you can fix it we want to export it like this you can fix it like this minimize it and you can see there is an option called as 
copy setting from 3d view here choose the 3d map one if you are having multiple maps it will be showing accordingly now the data has been loaded successfully you can also export it so for that you can see file on the top layout and uh, export as an image or pdf anything so hit down button save you can choose the dpi if you want to increase the dpi you can increase it so i'm going to keep it to 500 if you want you can set it to 500 600 700 so the image has been successfully exported let us view it you can see the exported view of the 3d map like this you can export it in 3d you can also export it as a pdf file by using this option simply you can do it so i hope that you have learned how to create a 3d building view in qgis and how to export it if you have any other doubts in this please to ask in the comment section thanks for watching terra special please to subscribe us goodbye everyone